Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about a couple privacy tips for your Pine phone. First off, I want to talk about the switches on the back. As everyone knows, they have privacy kill switches on the back. You can turn off the modem or and or the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the microphone, rear camera, front camera, headphone. Well, what I want to say here is if you don't use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, turn it off. In fact, I suggest you grab a pair of these. Headphone jack is a great thing for your privacy, considering Bluetooth is a very trackable protocol where all of your packets going out are able to fingerprint you not only with your MAC address, but also with the machine name that your device gives you. And a lot of times this matches the host name. So keep that in mind. It doesn't always match the host name, but when you're dealing with Bluetooth, there's going to be identifiers and you want to turn that off if it's not in use. I suggest always keeping off your front camera. Rarely do people need it and that's just something you can keep off. If you don't get phone calls, if you just use it for data, then just leave your microphone switch off. You don't need that either. So now let's talk a little bit about applications and what I have here is a Pine tab which is a great device actually it's not available at this moment but it may be in the future and another tip I have for when you get your pine phone is get a screen protector I got this nice screen protector for an Android you can see the glare the gloss a little bit here and I also have a recommendation for program as you can see I have liver wolf open that's a great browser it's a Firefox fork specifically made for your privacy. In fact, it has a great little container scheme where you can open different links in your work or other types of containers depending what you're doing. You can right click on a link, you can open it in a container tab as you can see here. They have a personal container, a work container, a banking, a shopping as examples here. So that's another tip for you. Grab Liberwool for your regular browsing. You can also use a variety of browsers which can help throw off uh, your browser fingerprints. That's another option. Uh, same with different operating systems. That also can help. Um, then also, of course, can't forget Tor Browser. I have a video on setting that up on your Pine phone. So you too can have Tor Browser and the icon right on your Pine phone interface. So that's another tip I have for the Pine phone getting started. Um, and I wrote a script called YPry, which also helps get things going for your MAC address privacy and host name privacy, and also even signal strength randomization. And signal strength can be used to uniquely show what direction you are, how far away you may be using triangulation, trilateration. And this is a privacy concern depending how paranoid you are, really. It's an optional setting on YPry. I, I'll leave a link to YPry and also the video for setting up Tor Browser and the download for that. Um, so there's a couple tips for you to start off. And uh, YPry, um, you can run it with systemd. It has an install script. So you can have it so it's a backup or a main MAC address randomization tool that you can use. I use it as my main uh, Mac randomization uh, tool because I wrote into it some Mac checking features to ensure that even if your firmware crashes, uh, you don't have to worry about your Mac address leaking because it will ensure that it will change it to the chosen Mac. So say your network manager Mac randomization, which by the way uses random unreal, non-real OUI prefaces, which means that it is known as a fake MAC address. That's a little bit of a fault in network managers randomization, but considering when you're doing tracking, they can sometimes cancel out the invalid OUIs in order to narrow down the possible real MAC address. So in this case with YPRI, you don't have to worry about that because it only uses real OUI lists taken right from the IEEE website. So check that out. That's another thing I like to use because System D ensures that it is always maintaining the correct MAC address. I've tested it for multiple days using different snippers to make sure that even on disconnects, reconnects, driver crashes, 
that it does not leak the MAC address. So I've tested that pretty thoroughly and I fully trust it. So that's the reason I wrote it. And um, I'll have some more tips for you. Let's see what else we've got. We also have, I have Zulu Crypt, great application for encryption. You can make hidden volumes, hidden encrypted volumes inside of another file or video. That can help with obfuscation. That's a great privacy addition, and I have a video on how to do that, how to add a hidden encrypted volume right in a video file. So it will look like any other normal video file, and um, that's one more thing you can use to protect your privacy here. And uh, really wanted to showcase Liver Wolf a bit because it's, it's a great browser. Of course, everyone knows about Tor Browser, but Liver Wolf has the features taken out all the privacy concerns of telemetry taken out. Uh, it's just a really well done browser. I also have Falcon open here. Um, so take a look at those options for you. Make sure to use a headphone jack and non-Bluetooth headphones because Bluetooth is going to be a main tracker and it is currently. You'll see Bluetooth trackers out in public right now. You may not see them, but they're in lampposts, they're in stores, and they work in a cloud-like fashion sharing where different devices have been on a map, and this can map you out over your travels. So that's another privacy tip I have for you. I hope this was helpful for you. It's just another guide to get started with your Pine phone. So I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.